It's Thursday, which means it's another time for the Reckham 247 recruiting update video. I'm Carlos Silva, the editor for the Reckham 247 website, and I'm joined along by Michael Labari, our staff writer. Let's get right to it. As I mentioned in our Thursday recruiting notebook about Grayson Bright, a 5'11 shooting guard who committed earlier in the summer uh, throughout a uh, Texas Tech women's basketball summer hoops camp, said she wasn't really interested in Texas Tech, didn't really know much about it, but Fell in love with the uh, Lubbock, the town of Lubbock, should I say, and then all of a sudden got a offer the uh, last day of the uh, hoops camp, and then uh, she was able to commit that day, said she loved it, was uh, very happy with it. Another thing in the uh, recruiting update, Michael, was uh, the uh, visitor list. I guess who are some guys that are coming in uh, for the Halloween game against Oklahoma State? We have about uh, eight or nine guys coming in. First of all, we have your commits. You have Nick McCannon from Arkansas High School in Arkansas. You have two Cibolo Steel players. You have Xavier Martin and Antoine Cox Wesley. You have the Cedar Hill quarterback Avery Davis, not committed, but last time I checked, he was very high in Texas Tech. Very true. You have two Lubbock Cooper players. Yeah, uh, Ty Thomas, great guy. Jared Dagey, two legacy guys, as you had mentioned in an earlier tweet. And then uh, last but not least, Justin Northwest, Daryl Simpson as well, a 2018 offensive lineman. All guys that, as you've mentioned, are very, very good talents going into the uh, further years and future target dates. Uh, speaking of guys that'll be a future uh, Texas Tech recruit, Grant Little, a, a pitcher and shortstop for Midland Christian that you wrote about this week. Correct. Uh, Grant Little committed to the Texas Tech baseball program a while back. He'll be joining Texas Tech baseball team as a middle infielder with that stacked middle infielder that, uh, infield that features Orlando Garcia, Michael Davis, Corey Raley. Uh, he just hopes to contribute there. There's uh, a, a lot of guys play at that position, so that was one thing to point out to him is that he has a chance to start right away. There is uh, some MLB scouts looking at him, so he could possibly go pro. Right now, the target round for him is the sixth round. Mm -hmm. And interestingly enough, Richard Little is his uncle, who was a former tech player in the 70s. Not only that, but then they're uh, coming off a lot of momentum, as you wrote in your story. 2014 had a CWS birth, the College World Series and they're on back-to-back uh, -back 30 win seasons as well. Uh, last but not least, I will talk about Lance Thomas, who uh, kind of mentioned a little bit last week, uh, weren't able to get a story on him. He's just getting some offers, uh, Texas Tech being the most recent, October the 15th. Another big uh, offer of the nine that he has right now is VCU. Right now, the junior power forward from Norcross High School is very interested in Texas Tech, but right now he's just uh, focused on the season as well. And uh, speaking of other guys that are focused on the uh, Texas Tech season, I know I mentioned uh, Justin Hall as well. That'll be the last one that we mentioned. He's a track and field athlete that committed earlier this season as well to the uh, Texas Tech track and field team. Very excited. He's from uh, Blue Springs, Missouri. Finished runner up in the Missouri State Championships in the long jump and the triple jump. Those will be two events that he will compete in. And Texas Tech said he was very excited to get an offer and very excited to come to Lubbock and uh, really enjoy the small town atmosphere. Anything else you've got, Michael? I know we usually do stats. Did you have anyone in mind that uh, you wanted to look at from last week to kind of highlight this week? I actually have two guys. We're going to continue with the Leon Ward here from Dallas Skyline, the running back. He played Irving MacArthur. And uh, Dallas Skyline won 54 to 14. Ward had a huge game, 20 carries, 253 yards, and he actually caught a 43 yard pass and he threw a 43 yard pass. So a lot there. You also have Jeff Duffy, or sorry, Jed Duffy for uh, Mansville Lakeview. His team won 56 to 14 over Mansview Legacy. He was 9 of 11 for 217 yards and three touchdowns, and he also had six carries for 114 yards, so a big-time playmaker Tech is getting. Dynamic, dual-threat player. Not only that, but kept his team, uh, Mansfield Lake uh, View, as you mentioned, undefeated on the season. Uh, as we mentioned, uh, here's the Reckham 247 recruiting notebook video slash show, if you will. It's uh, Thursday. If you need any more information, don't forget to visit Reckham247.com for all the recruiting information on Texas Tech. Or if you want some more information on Texas Tech athletics in general, RedRaiders.com is your site. We will see you again next Thursday.